The inventory transfer allows for the dynamic movement of goods from one location to another, either within a warehouse or between warehouses. It's reached by clicking on the inventory button, then the inventory transfer. First screen that's displayed is the, contains the reference ID. Please refer to the reference ID video for more information on this. In the transfer transaction, this is particularly useful for moving handling units. We scan in the handling unit in the reference ID and the screen then displays the information associated with it. In this case, this is a handling unit containing a quantity of 1000 of item FTWM02, which is currently in warehouse FT6WM1. I'm going to move this to FT7WM2, location A001, and hit process. If I had reduced the quantity from 1000, it would have asked me if I was wanting to split the handling unit and if I wanted to put the remaining items into a new handling unit or to leave them as anonymous stock. If we're not using handling units, then we would enter the information on the transfer screen itself. So we say the warehouse we're moving the goods from, the item we're moving, the location we're moving them from, and then the quantity. In this case, I'm just going to move them from one location to another within the same warehouse. But the same principle applies if we were moving it between warehouses. If the item I'm moving is lock controlled, then I can zoom to see where there is current stock and just select one of those. Select the lot number in that location and select the inventory date. In this case, it's a lot controlled and inventory date controlled item. I can specify the quantity that I'm moving, which is 10. And I'm going to move it again within the same warehouse. But in this case, I'm going to move it to location A002. If the item is serial controlled, I will scan in the item number. And if I'm moving a single serial number, I can just enter that here. If I wish to move multiple serial numbers from the same location, then I can enter the location, specify how many I'm going to move, specify where I'm going to move them to. Then on the next screen, I can scan in the serial numbers that I'm going to move. So I'm scanning in these three serial numbers. At any time, I can click on the scan serials to see what serial numbers I have so far scanned in just to in case I've made a mistake and remove one of them if necessary or I can just scan in the third serial number and as soon as I scan in the third serial number the transaction will take place. So this is a brief overview of the facilities available in the inventory transfer transaction.